Hello, I'm Patricia Jo Grover, also known as the Goal Achievement Strategist. I'm an author, speaker, coach, mentor, conquering skills educator, and host of the Rise Above show. The topic I'm going to be talking about today is retaking, remaking, and reshaping your future. You want to take notes so you can go back after and start doing some of the tips that I share with you today. Because I'm sharing, what I'm sharing here today is the framework, they're the pieces that build a strong foundation with achievement. You'll need these seven steps, which are puzzle pieces to put together in order to start building your smarter plan. And at the end, I'll share where you can find some of the other puzzle pieces that you're going to need to make this come together. <laughs> oh, did I forget to tell you that I'm an activational speaker. And what I mean by that is I give people the tips and steps to put into action to move them forward in a positive direction towards achieving their dreams and goals. Next, I'm going to be asking you um, a few questions and I want you to give them great thought. Have you ever had anything mess up your plans that you had already to achieve the, your dreams and goals of what you wanted to have, be, or do? And maybe you may have had goals that have had to change because you've had different setbacks that you faced. Do you still have the same things on that to have, to be, to do list that, that you wanted to achieve? Maybe you've now experienced or known that there's more possibilities. Now, I want you to take a moment and while it's fresh in your mind and write down on a single piece of paper, just one on top of the other, what your dreams and goals are. Now that you have them down on paper, are you ready to take the extra steps and walk that extra mile? I use this analogy because it's one of my favorite authors, um, Dr. Wayne Dyer. He's an author and speaker. He said it's never crowded along that extra mile. And many people think that he's referring to those who are long distance endurance racers or high achievers, which is very well true because they actually have had mentors and coaches along the way. And it took a lot of strategic planning and, and, and calendaring and everything for them to get where they are. They've put hundreds of hours in craft, into crafting their skills. And each of them had to learn from things that have happened in their own journeys that made them better, stronger, and faster at what they do. What I'm gonna do with this talk is I'm planting some seeds for thought for you. And I'm gonna quickly go through some steps that people who have big dreams that they wanna achieve must do to be successful. So first of all, congratulations. You've already taken the first step to this process by getting your goals down on paper. So number two, the next step is to reconcile your past. Do you have any unfinished business or issues to face that may be holding you back? Let me give you a visual analogy of how to do this. And, and now I want you to close your eyes and think of this and picture it while I'm telling you the story. And then open your eyes when, when I say open. Now, I want you to think about all the stuff that you had packed into a suitcase that you were going to take on a plane trip to go visit people. When that suitcase ended up being lost luggage somewhere because the tag fell off and it took them forever to find out who it belonged to because there were so many baggage claim reports. So this suitcase now has been missing for years, years and years. And finally, one day, the airline company tracks you down and it's out of the blue, just one day, when your life is the craziest, of course, you hear this knock, knock on the door. And someone from the airline company is there standing on your doorstep, delivering you that long lost bag. Now what? You know you have to figure out what to do with all the stuff inside. What do you, do you still want it or need it? Most of it you had to replace immediately, didn't you? That most of it that was important. So now I want you to open your eyes. But I also want you to open your heart and mind as well to what I'm going to share with you. We all have baggage. So I teach my clients to name it and claim it. 
if you believe that you have already placed replaced these items and with something better, then you may be all set to just throw it away. But if there was something in there that brought joy to you or you had fond memories attached and it'll make you happy to have it back, then that's great. But since it's taken years for this bag to show back up, the items pro probably no longer fit you anymore because you've grown and they, know they, they might be out of your style. So get rid of what no longer fits the new you, no longer serves your purpose, and only keep what has a fondness in your heart or that you can learn something from. Now to step, step three is know where you're starting from. Here's another story to show my point. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to meet you in person. And I've been looking forward to sitting down and getting a chance to talk with you. So I jumped on a plane and I'm flying to you. My plane lands. I go get my bag and go to the rental car place and grab the rental. And I start driving away from the airport. I'm just heading, heading in a direction. And I'm, cause I'm just in a hurry to get to meet you. Then finally, I've been driving for a while and something just doesn't seem right. The area looks a little shady, you know? So I pull over and I realize I hadn't even, I don't even have your address in my phone. So I give you a call and I don't have a GPS. I give you a call and I say, ask for directions how to get to your house. And then you ask me, oh, Patty, where are you? And I can't even tell you where I am. I have no idea. But I may actually have gotten myself into a place I shouldn't be. <laughs> wow. Did you hear just listening to this that I was so excited? I didn't even bother to properly plan. I wasted time, money, and energy. And now I might be in a place that I shouldn't be in. So let's get you started on your journey correctly. So the third step for you is to do a SWOT analysis of yourself. What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? What are your opportunities? And what are your threats? Once you have done this, I say, hey, congratulations. You have just started building your very own toolbox. But I also want you to be aware because you also... In this toolbox, there's a small little spade. And what happens is that small little spade starts digging your grave for where the dreams go to die. If you don't get busy working, balancing out those weaknesses and those threats, those weaknesses and threats will start to take that spade and they will dig that deep, deeper hole if you allow it to happen. So plan right now to take some time to seriously look at how you're going to balance these out so there are no longer deficits to you. Do you currently have the skills or mindset or to be successful? Do you need as part of your planning for achievement to delegate or hire someone to get you there? Do you know who you, you can reach out for help along your journey? Dig deep within yourself to find the things you wrote down on your SWAN analysis, because I want you to know who the real you actually is and what you do already have in your toolbox. You're most likely going to be surprised. The fourth step is, is to go back to that list of your dreams and goals that you had originally written down. And I want you to write this on the very top of the paper. And I'm being very specific about these words because it's going to help you, okay? It's going to help you analyze things, okay? So first you're going to write where, who, and what is it that I want to have, do, or be? And then I want you to write what do I need to have, be, and do to make this dream or goal become a reality? You'll need to refer to each of those individual goals and ask these questions. It will give you more clarity, I promise. And take good notes, okay? On to step five. When do you want this to happen? Go to each dream or goal and write down when you will have this accomplished by. And for now, just write this in pencil because the next thing is to take that time to determine what needs to happen working backwards from where you want to be to where you are now. 
Now, this is where I have to be very clear. Do not ever take on any more than three goals at one time. And if you have three, it can be very tricky. So you must make sure that the ones, uh, those three complement each other and then work together. So, so, so then get exactly where you wanna be. Otherwise you self-sabotage and implode. Things will fall through the cracks and you probably won't make any real progress with any of them. So as you achieve one, you can always add a new one into the mix out of the three, but you need to have organization, prioritization, synchronization, planning and calendaring all about this because it's key. This is a huge piece of the puzzle. So separate that I do a different workshop on that. So step number six, what do you, why? Why do you want to achieve this goal? What difference will it, achieving this dream or goal make in the la your life or the life of others? Will it bring you or others joy? What benefits will, there, will it bring to you? Now, I want you to do a SWOT analysis as if you were there. If you have already achieved that dream or goal, do those same SWOT. Now, step number seven is I want you to create a vision board, but I want you to add dimensions to it. What will it physically and emotionally feel like when you get there? What will it smell like, taste like, sound like, look like when you have achieved each one of those goals? I've just given you the puzzle pieces to put together for a strong foundation so that you can build your smarter plan to retake, reshape and remake your future. Now, are you willing to walk that extra mile and put in the work that those high achievers of those biggest dreams and goals do? Are you now ready to find out more tips about putting together your smarter plans to achieve? If you are, you can text the word goal, G-O-A-L, to 26786. You can find out more about me at patriciajoegrover.com. And one more time on the text goal, G-O-A-L, to uh, 26786. I want you to be able to achieve your biggest dreams and goals. Have a wonderful day.